It was a much different scene, thankfully, in Syracuse again last night. Another night of peaceful protests, and they came to an end just before 10 p.m., this time without a curfew or any trouble with police. Julia LeBlanc joins us now to tell us all about it. Julia, good morning. Tell us more about last night's peaceful protests downtown. Good morning, Dan. We had multiple groups of protesters gathering in the city of Syracuse yesterday. Some people getting here as early as 8 o'clock in the morning, but the others really coming here after 2 in the afternoon. Now, one of those groups led by religious leaders and the others, generations of people searching for justice for George Floyd. But no matter which group you're with, everyone at one point in time coming here to the public safety building. Now, throughout the march, Syracuse police even working with them to talk about what their next move should be. They ended up walking to the south side of Syracuse and back. At one point, they joined a group of silent protesters standing in eight minutes of silence in front of the public safety building. That's the estimated amount of time George Floyd had been suffering for. So when we thought of this idea, we said, what can we do to be peaceful and at the same time honor those who have been killed by racists? Racism. I'm coming from Syria where is all the injustice happening, and it's time for making the country that leading the world the most peaceful country. Now you can see the remnants of that candlelight vigil here. Those candles saying, I can't breathe, justice for George Floyd, and a Black Lives Matter sign. Now, we do expect protests to continue today. We expect people again to come here around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Live in Syracuse, Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9.